All right, now that I'm doing this properly, it's gameplay time. The three of you awaken your cryo sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on an unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you. You start making plans to survive. So we have critters and caves. Well, I found the uh, I found the critters. There's a mega spider, female. How much H HP does it have? Can't tell. Well, I'm going to stay very far away from those because that looks bad. Now, what do we have? We do have this here. What's what's this? A lot of a lot of mega spiders, which is uh, brilliant. So we can only see these because they're exposed out into the world. So I. There's just a building over here for some reason. Pause. Is that pause? I think we're paused now. Yeah? There we go. Well, we want to stay away from that set of caves. I feel like this actually might not be a bad spot to start. Okay. Oh, this is going to take some time. I don't remember how to play. So... Yeah, do not go close to those hives. Yeah, not planning on it. Eventually, we will raid them, and it will be a problem. Hopefully, the cassowaries will solve them for me. But yeah, let's, uh... Let's start mining a, a little fortress home. Okay, uh, let's see. So we want to zone... Stockpile zone... For now, I'm just going to kind of stockpile garbage around here. Uh, eventually, we will... We will figure this out properly. But this is fine. Orders. Can I can I cut plants? I'm going to kind of cut this whole area down. I'm sure there might be a more efficient way of doing this. This is fine. Uh, let's see. Chop wood as well. Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to need that. And while we're here, let's also queue up mining on the, uh, on whatever this metal resource is. Is it metal or is it stone? It's compacted steel. Okay, so that's, that's good. Uh, let's see, work. I have nothing else. So most of my guys are pretty bad at these things, uh, but hopefully they'll learn quick. At least, that's the assumption. Uh, let's see. Deconstruct the ship chunks. We've got, like, a building here. We've also got boomalopes. Now, do boomalopes just, like, explode? I assume they do. Okay, uh, let's see. Work. Orders. Uh, let's see. Is there a hall things? I'm just gonna tell them to uh, haul all the garbage that we've got lying around. Now, does that... Okay. So that does not actually include these. So how do we, um... How do we tell them to come get this stuff? Because this is just, like, slate chunk. Which will be helpful. Okay, they... Boom, boom lopes just blow up when they die. Good to know. Strip plant. Slaughter. Tame. Could I just, like, tame... A must designate hollowable items. Some items are always hollowable. Okay. Unforbid the medicine. You don't want it rotting away. Is the medicine forbid? Oh, okay. How do I orders? Can I like mass unforbid stuff? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so I'll just have to do it uh, manually. Maybe that's why I'm not able to, able to select it for hauling, because it's, it's baseline forbidden to me for some reason. Yes, I know dump, dump stockpiles are not actual stockpiles, which is why I made two. Uh, can I... If I do this, will they... I don't actually know if they will haul them. You need a moss mod to mass unforbid. Okay. 
Weird. Well, we'll grab this stuff. At least for now. We've got some, like, turtles. We've got some other things. These guys are hungry. Uh, and who is doing what? I have no idea. Okay, everything that falls from the pods and came with your ship gets forbidden automatically, as well as things that drop off corpses. Okay, so you have to unforbid it if you want to collect it. Good to know. Uh, so now that I've unforbid it, will they will they properly collect it or not? Okay, so mining is this is this whole process is going to take some serious time. I guess it's not going to take forever. Okay, let me take a look at work. So honestly, I'm just going to tell them to do everything right now. Eventually, we will uh, we will sit down and have them do uh, only what they're good at. But right now, I just want them to I want them to do everything because otherwise, they're just going to be wandering around doing nothing this entire time. And I know we can set priorities, which should make this easier. Uh, manual priorities. That's that's the good stuff. Okay. So by sending it to one, he will always he will always mine. Okay, there we go. The collect things if they have their haul job set high enough priority and stockpile uh, applicable settings to put in. Good to know. Yeah, as we get further into this, I will stockpile better. But right now, I'm mostly just interested in uh, get this base getting this base moving. Let's see. So it looks like we've got. Plenty to mine around here. So what else do we do? This is uh very time consuming. Is there a button? Okay. So one, two, and three are the time controls. That's good to know. So I can change the uh, stockpile settings. Probably don't need to have to grab this. Items deteriorate while they're outside. Yeah. I I'm sure. Uh it's Kind of one of those where, uh, as we go along, I will be much more interested in, uh, once we go further in, I will be much more interested in actually, like, setting this stuff up and playing it properly. So, here's the question, uh, is it items that are outside of a, uh, a stockpile degrade, or is it... All items that are just straight up outside. Let's see, wonder you have weird stream times. American evening, sort of. I'm just a night night owl. I am. I don't know. I've always been a nighttime kind of person. Okay, items not under a roof. Gotcha. Well, it's going to take me a little bit to get a proper roof going. You know what? Uh, orders. I'm gonna cancel these. These aren't immediately important. I feel like... I feel like I'm playing, um... Dungeons 3 all over again. Which is actually really cool. Okay, food and some other things also deteriorate if they're not refrigerated. Yeah, I'm aware of that. I've messed I've messed with that in the past. Okay. Uh, let's see. Is it structure, door, floor, wall, zone area, home area, build roof area? Which is the one that builds a floor? More it's there's more geez, floors. Okay, here we go. Well, okay, so that that's how we can see how much everything costs. Any of these just require stone, tile, granite tile? No. So we need like specific blocks, which we don't have. So, so I guess I'm just gonna smooth out the floors. Now, can I actually fill some of these areas in? I guess wall. Now, how do you... Ah, there we are. Silver, steel, and wood. So I, I can set wooden walls, as opposed to other stuff. Music on this game is actually pretty good. 
Might be a little bit loud. Tell me if it's a problem. Smooth floors take too long. Don't do it. Okay. What's a better uh, floor? Should I just go wooden floors? Because concrete requires steel. I could do I could do wooden floors. Okay, start with wood floors. Gotcha. I think somebody had uh, given me given me crap for it originally. Okay, let me do music volume down by a little bit, and there we go. Yeah, what I want to do is effectively make kind of this underground bunker. We'll start with uh, hauling zones or whatever in here. Your wood is flammable. Well, we'll we'll get to that. Uh, the point of fixing that. Okay, but yeah, what I want to do for now is get everything outside. Um, architect orders mine. So what I want to do is make a, an air conditioning machine. Can I build one of those? I mean, it looks like we can just do solar generators, like, immediately. But it doesn't look like we can do air conditioning yet. Maybe? No, there it is. Temperature, single refrigerator. Quad refrigerator. Okay, but that probably requires power. Okay. It also costs wood to build. Yeah. I kind of... I kind of figured. It would cost me, like, wood to build these floors. So, yeah. Previously... Is there... That's interesting. Yeah, normally I put like an AC thing here, but I kind of might not want to do that. Well, let's do uh, power. Do we not have like wind power? Oh, wind turbine. Oh, we have a visitor. Well, she's coming our way. I don't have much to trade with her, can, can I? Combat, so social, no relationships. I don't actually know how to talk to a person in this game. My people are also really, really ugly. But yes, we are going to want to set up power early. So let's get that going with some solar. Okay, Q and E to rotate. Okay, wind turbines don't work if if trees or walls are in the way. That's easy enough, and solar obviously doesn't work if you have too much shade. Okay, architect, zone areas, orders. There we go. Got plants. We really kind of want to just deforest this whole immediate area, so I have some room to farm at some point. What about harvest? Is harvest an option? No. Okay, use hammer to talk to her. How do? Oh, I can I can trade with her. Okay, there we go. Um, so I have. How do I tell how much money I have? I assume I have nothing. trying to figure out what she's got. So she's got these. I've got these. Okay. I have Oh, I have 800 silver. So I can buy some extra medicine. I've got 30 medicine. Oh, she's got 4. Packaged survival meals are kind of expensive. I'll get the medicine though. That seems like a reasonable thing, considering I can't do anything with it. But I have a golden retriever? Oh. I also have a chinchilla. Cool. 
What is this thing? A cobra. We have a. Uh, we have quite the setup here. So I want to do. Hmm. How do we do this? Well, I guess while we're here, I'm just going to slow it down. So we've got that. Power switch. Switches the powers on and off. Wood fire generator, chem fuel, batteries. But we don't... We want batteries to almost be elsewhere. Okay, so those should just automatically... Those should automatically go. I'm just going to run these into the base. And run it lengthwise the entire way through. So how big is a fridge? Because that is actually, uh, that is, that is something. Let's see, is it temperature? Single refrigerator. Quad refrigerator. Quad refrigerators may be a bit bigger, but it wouldn't be a bad idea to just, um, orders, mine out this area. We'll just put fridges in here. And batteries should not be outside a roof. Yeah, I figured that I figured that much. Okay. Now that's power conduit. So Shade Star wants to hunt. Equip the bolt action rifle. Draft. Not eat or rest. I'm afraid of taking on the Cobra. So what I'm gonna do... Okay, Buck to the things you should give your faction a name. What should our faction be called? Everybody's gonna die. And since you're gonna be here for a while, I should... Give the community a name. Uh, future... Future Ghost Town. Alright, there we go. This is the future ghost town. And at some point, it will be the present ghost town. We'll get there. Yeah, apparently I just have a Labrador uh, Retriever. Yes. Cobras are good egg sources. Not a male cobra. No. But that's also fine. Who cares? Okay. But yeah, so I'm just gonna get some uh, some big fridges in here. And that will solve our food problems. Okay, orders. Haul things. Haul that out of the way. And temperature, quad, refriger quad refrigerator. There we go. Cost me some of my supplies, but we'll never have to worry about uh, fridges ever again. Is it just me, or are these guys, like, weirdly jumpy? I... Yeah, I don't entirely understand it. Maybe it's... Nope, no idea. You can also teach the dog how to haul stuff. What? Okay, hold on. Training. Okay, uh, haul. And rescue. I will prioritize training animals. Okay, uh, let's see. Reconnect. Designate power, build copy, storage. Here we go. So, foods, meals, raw food. Okay, there we go. So, this is just going to be fridge lands. Uh oh. Mad animal. Local tur tortoise has gone mad. It will attack anyone it sees. This tortoise tortoise is out of control, guys. It's a serious problem. It is way far away from the base, so hopefully we'll be okay. All right. Uh, so next up, let's do floors, paved tile, or concrete. I'm gonna do concrete. Um, I'm gonna overwrite that. This is gonna be where I store my batteries. Maybe a little bit close to the the beginning, but I'm just gonna go, uh, turtles. Moving across the minestone debris slows people down. Oh, that's why. 
Okay, well in that case, who's set to hauling? Who's currently not immediately doing anything? I'm gonna prioritize uh, hauling with Shade Star. Hauling and handle. You really need to worry about our mad squirrels and Yorkshire Terriers. Oh, jeez. I can only imagine. Okay. And it's roll con power conduit in here. Should be fine. And that should give us a whole bunch of power that we don't have to worry about. At least for a little while. And it looks like we're staying kind of above on things. Components is something that we're going to have to worry about. Colonist needs treatment. Uh-oh. Oh, shit! It's a mad tortoise! Uh, equip the revolver. Oh, shit. Okay, get out of here. Uh, Shade Star, what are you doing? Draft. Fire at the tortoise. Oh, no. Hammer. Uh, melee attack the tortoise. No, shit. Hammer. Why? Oh, God. Hammer is dead. Mainly because Shade Star shot him. That m mad tortoise is actually killing our entire, uh, our entire base. How, do, how the fuck do we deal, deal with this? Hammer cannot fight. Alright, fight. keep firing at that tortoise. Good god. Uh, Combucto. Rescue Hammer. Cannot rescue. No reachable bed. Um, okay, Architect. Uh, pause. We're in trouble. Uh, let's see. So we want to do... Furniture. We want to make a bed out of wood. We may want to make a wooden bed. I'm just going to make it over here. We are in trouble. Okay, Combucto. Uh, let's undraft you. Pri prioritize making this wooden bed so that Hammer doesn't just die. Is it dead? It is, it is now dead. That was way more work than I thought it was going to be. But, here we are. Okay, nope. This is medical. Don't immediately get in the bed, you ass! Rescue hammer. I... No, wake up. Stop doing that. Rescue hammer. Don't go to bed. This is for hammer. <laughs> White hammer is just sleeping. White hammer, man! You were in the middle of dinner, and you got ganked by a turtle. <laughs> I should probably save. It would have been real funny if we had lost to the mad turtle. Suggestion, more beds. Oh, yeah. No, that is... Yep, that is a high priority here. Okay, who's good at medicine? Because we should maybe... Maybe prioritize that a little bit. <laughs> I'm in trouble. <laughs> oh, yeah. I should undraft... Shade Star, so he can go to bed. Uh, while we're at it, Architects. Furniture. Furniture. Sleeping spot. I'm just gonna do that for now. Um, we'll properly work on uh, sleeping spots. This also needs to get repaired. How do? Orders? Uh, is there a repair button? Because I can deconstruct it. There's a lot of blood. That tortoise... Uh, blood of hammer times one. Prioritize your doctor to treat. Maybe it's like a work thing. Is repair... What the hell is flick? Oh, flicking switches. Okay. Ah, 
they will automatically repair it if they have the uh, construction priority set. Priority set. Awesome. Uh oh. Disease infection. Shade Star is sick. Balls. Colonist needs rescue. Severe Ill illness. Well, shit. All right. Uh. Okay. Who is my medic again? Good. Bucto, the geologist. So that's helpful, at least. Alright, uh, let's see. Zone, area. I'm gonna build a roof over these guys before they just immediately die. Or get, like, really sick. Well, at least we have one doctor. Well, yeah, I know they're getting rained on. I don't know how to get them to prioritize. No, we don't need to prioritize that. How do we get them to prioritize the roof? Okay, there we go. Now they're not getting rained on at the very least. Cargo pods. Smoke leaf joint. Sweet. And I guess some of this other stuff. Is that it? Or is this it? No, that's marble. So, I was just told that there's some weed over here. Oh, sweet. There's some elephants, too. And Bucta's gonna come get the... Wow. Dude's got priorities. He, w he really needs to toke up right now. Okay. Well, hey, at least the raid fixes the blood problem. Yeah, we got to get those batteries. Uh, ooh, yeah. We should probably also get a, um... Oh, hammer's feeling better. Animals do not attack doors, good to know. Okay, I'm just gonna plonk one of those right there so we can have some power while other things happening. Okay, so Shade Star looks like he's doing better. Oh, but now Combucto has an infection. Hey. Well, this has been off to a great start. Yeah, medicine should be in the fridges. Yeah, you're correct on that. Um. Yeah, I, I will make uh, some more of these as we go along. Severe illness. Is he is he still severely sick? Infection, extreme. Go back to bed. If you have an extreme illness, why are you out and about right now? None of this is a good idea. Um. All right. Wooden, uh, another another wooden bed right there. Combucto, make a bed for you. And Jesus Christ, work. Uh, how many? Ha, can anybody else doctor? I'm gonna set uh, doctoring to a priority right now. Cause you didn't prioritize being a patient. I is that an option? Get bed rest? Okay. <laughs> well. This has gone fabulously to start with. 
Okay, mental break days. Uh, my dog is losing its shit. Oh. And it looks like Combucto just died. Yeah, Bucto just died. All right. <laughs> well, this got, um, great. Well, without him, we're pretty much doomed right from the start. Um, I think <laughs> that was quick. Rest in peace. Good game. Yeah, no, I think we're probably, we could probably pull from this, but I think it might be better if I just start over tomorrow when I'm awake and know how to deal with some of these. Cause, uh, I, that was, this was embarrassingly bad. I guess I could reload back to uh turtle gank and. Have everybody focus on it. Or start at the very beginning. That might not be a bad idea, honestly. Turtle gank was at 306. Which is like six minutes ago. Patient is the second option. Wait, really? Oh shit. Yeah, it is. <laughs> this ends the tragic saga. The first uh the return to Rimworld, dying more or less to a turtle. Welp. <laughs> I'm good at this game. Can't you tell? We'll play more tomorrow.